YouTube is pushing me to let go of my perfectionism. Wow, 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 wow. An entire month on YouTube. Hey there, assalamu alaikum ladies. Welcome or welcome back to our special corner of the internet. If you're just seeing me for the first time, I'm Mari Kemi, your go-to modest gal, navigating the intersections of fashion, faith, and business. Now, if you had told me back in 2023 that I would be here on YouTube for an entire month straight, I would not believe you. I would not believe you. <laughs> But subhanAllah, if you know me, you know that I have wanted to do this for so long. Like, I've always been an avid YouTube watcher. I don't watch TV, I watch YouTube. And so for me to finally be, be moving into the woman that I've always dreamt of seeing on YouTube, I'm literally her. I'm just like so ecstatic. So in this video today, I'm super thrilled to share that I've reached an entire month on YouTube and I want to share with you all what exactly it has taught me thus far. If you're scared, do it scared. 2024 is a year about doing all the things. We're doing all the things. We're not holding back due to fear, due to doubt. We're letting go and we're doing the thing, okay? So I hope this video may be an encouragement for you all now let's get into it also and before we get into everything thank you all so much for your support for taking the time out of your day to subscribe to my youtube channel to watch my videos to like to comment i truly appreciate each and every way that you guys present yourselves on my youtube channel and so bissels kisses love to you all so as you can tell by the title I'm a Muslim, introverted, creative. Just for some background info, when I grew up, I was always super quiet, very reserved. With that, I just didn't always have confidence in speaking up. I always had trouble verbally defending myself. I would literally go an entire day at school talking once. <laughs> like, I would talk once and that would be everything that I said in a day just so you could get a better understanding of how quiet and reserved i've always been but gradually through my life like i've grown to get out of my comfort zone as a creative i work in the fashion industry i write as well as style through youtube creating these videos for you all it has allowed for me to become more confident in my speech to speak with a bit more authority i always want to help people share the knowledge that i have and share my experiences. As I mentioned previously, I'm a writer and the way that my love grew for writing was because I was not able to verbally communicate really. When it came to speaking, I just couldn't. It was so difficult for me to grasp my ideas and translate that to speak, especially if it was an argument or kind of like a debate kind of thing where I needed to argue my point and convey a message. Through YouTube, it's allowing for me to move away from that style of communication. It's allowing for me to just speak off the dome and be a bit more free in that way. How I was able to ease into that was through scripting. I still do script my videos. Earlier on, the scripts were word for word, bar for bar. It was a practice I already knew. And going into this new month, I'm changing that method up a little bit and still keeping that organization. But I'm learning that in order for me to grow, I need to get out of my comfort zone in that sense. And so instead of doing word for word scripts, I'm now moving into just bullet points where I have like the general message of what I want to say. And I think that's going to allow for me to really step into my confident speech and although i was accustomed to that way of communication i did used to do interviews with people that i don't know personally and i liked that way of communicating through me just having a list of questions and allowing for the conversation to have freedom in that way where it just naturally flows oh my gosh my back is hurting where it naturally flows and 
there's a bit of organization in that way, but it's, you know, still ease in that. And so I hope that I can translate that into the videos that I create for you all. And also let me know if you guys have been enjoying the videos I've created. If you're new here, check out my other videos and let me know what you think. For those that are also a bit introverted and want to boost their speaking confidence, I advise you to record voice memos and get into the habit of just naturally speaking. That method I think is also great because it allows for you to just speak freely and there's no like right or wrong way to say something. You're able to just speak and then you can always listen back. You could also maybe give yourself a prompt maybe give yourself a time limit, like speak for 10 minutes straight and see what you get from it. And you can always listen back, make adjustments. And then eventually you could then move into speaking to the camera, just use your phone and see how that also turns out. Starting this YouTube channel has allowed for me to put myself out there. As I mentioned, I work in the fashion industry. And so majority of my time spent was behind the scenes even through writing behind the scenes i was never really at the forefront i was never really you know the one that has the mic to my mouth and someone's interviewing me or i'm on a panel over time it's all just gonna come inshallah because <laughs> if you didn't know i own my own brand is called savade it's a modest clothing brand i haven't launched anything yet but I want to grow into that. I want to be ready for when people are calling me for interviews and where people are calling me to come and be on a panel and talk about the brand, talk about my creativity and such. And so I want to be able to grow into that and be able to speak confidently and not be so uncomfortable about putting myself out there. And YouTube is really challenging me. <laughs> In my text world vlog, I really knew I was stepping out of my comfort zone when I wanted to get this shot. In the vlog, when I was taking my lunch break, I didn't use my tripod. I was feeling lazy, <laughs> not gonna lie. I was like, hmm, let me just put my camera up on the on the chair across from me, hoping to get this shot. I go back and look at the footage. The camera is facing to the ceiling. I'm not in it. So I was like, okay, let me come back around later on in the day. And when I came back around, there were people sitting in the chair. I was like around the area, scoping out the scene. And one of the chairs opened up. So I was like, okay, let, this is my chance. It's either I go there or I missed out and don't get the shot that I really wanted to get. So I go and sit down. I'm like trying to play it cool. <laughs> I'm like contemplating, hmm. Should I ask her if she can take a video of me or do I just like set up my tripod? What do I do? And I'm like, just ask her. <laughs> it's not that deep. Just ask her. And she was willing to take the video for me. She was super sweet about it. And I left satisfied. I got the shot that I needed. Check out the vlog here. It's really pushing me to get out of my comfort zone. I'm so proud of myself that I asked her because I just knew that I would be so dissatisfied and feel like I didn't I didn't try hard enough to get the best shot. Yeah, and I got the shot. <laughs> I'm delighted. I haven't faced any setbacks from putting myself out there. In fact, it's actually brought more opportunities for me and connecting me with more people and Allowing for me to meet other Muslim women, like alhamdulillah, like it's so beautiful. Actually, there's this one sister, she called me for an interview. And so it's allowing for people to see me, like <laughs> see the work that I do. And it's great. I will say wearing the niqab is definitely helping me with feeling more comfortable to put myself out there. It would be way different if, if I wasn't wearing the niqab. I think I would also be more self-conscious of how I'm looking each time. Like sure, I want to look, come on and look presentable, but um, as a woman, I think that coming on camera without niqab, I probably would be more inclined to like do a full beat or something like that. And so wearing niqab is allowing for me to move away from that. Alhamdulillah. Despite that, 
I am being vulnerable and I am sharing parts of myself. And I encourage you all to do the same. It's really liberating. It allows for you to really be unapologetically yourself. I know that we always hear like, be you, be you, but no, literally be yourself. Like, I feel like YouTube is the best place to do that. There's so many different types of people on this app, even if they're in another country across the globe, and there's someone that's going to be interested in the content that you're creating. So I encourage you all to create the content that you want to see that you're searching on YouTube for that if you're not seeing it you create it that's why i'm on here i've watched youtube since like high school and i have never seen a woman on youtube that is like me to the t and there's never ever gonna be a person just like me and that's the beauty of being a human there's no one in this world that's like you exactly like you that thinks like you that talks like you that dresses like you that acts like you step into your individuality that's my whole that's all that i talk about over here um but step into that it's really gonna allow for you to kick up to the next level and really elevate to a better version of yourself youtube is pushing me to let go of my perfectionism i was envisioning myself to start youtube when i had the camera when i had the studio space when i had all of these things but I don't know, something just clicked and I feel like Allah told me like work with what you have. I was making dua to be granted with all of the tools and resources that I need. Lo and behold, everything is here that I need. I have a phone, alhamdulillah, with a good camera that I'm using to film this. I have a tripod. I have these chairs here in my room. I have the stable use glasses. You know, I have all the things that I need. At the very bare minimum, I have everything that I need. I literally have the space. Sure, my neighbors be loud as heck, but <laughs> I'm delighted. I have the space and so I can't complain. And so I have really been letting go of perfectionism, even down to like creating the videos. I always want like the best quality of things and so I do the best that I can with each video that I make. The more that I learn, the more that I grow, plant thing, period. So alhamdulillah, I'm letting go of perfectionism. So I will say it's definitely a tough battle, but we're moving through it and I'm just like growing to accept like I know that it's in human nature that we're not perfect. But every now and again, like <laughs> it trickles and what i envision is this what i envision is that and this isn't what i'm seeing and so it's 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 definitely a tug of war type of thing and so with that if you are also struggling with perfectionism i will say to find a balance between quality and perfectionism if it is what you can do in making one video a week and you know that you're gonna produce the best quality that you could produce that is great take an entire week to work on that video and then by the time that it's time for you to post it you should be satisfied with where it is that's kind of how i'm approaching it as well giving myself like a time slot do what it takes but at the same time find a balance in it and i think that giving yourself a window is allowing for you to not delay too much but you're you have that gap also have fun with it like sure we want to produce the best content but if we're not having fun whoa, whoa. <laughs> if you reach a point where it becomes tedious where you're like oh my god i gotta edit this video oh my god i gotta film this video maybe it's time to reconsider your scheduling or the topics that you're talking about. Have fun with the things that you do. That's how things have longevity. Allow for the freedom and the creativity to be that balancing factor to quality and perfectionism. Creating this YouTube page has been a space where I can marry all of my interests into one. Like for a while, on Instagram especially, I kind of felt like I had to dim down my Islamic values. Being that I am my own brand, it would feel like, in my head I would think like, oh, people are here for fashion, people don't care about this. That's just in my head, no one ever said anything to me. 
Like this YouTube page is literally where I connect everything. Like I don't feel any type of way or any like second guess in my mind about, oh, should I post this? I firmly believe that all of these interests, fashion, faith, and business, are all integrated together, especially within my life, in my own world, they're integrated together. Faith is faith. And Islam is a huge part of my identity. And so I would personally be doing a disservice to myself if I was dimming that each time that I presented myself on YouTube. It would be a little strange. <laughs> I can't even go a sentence or two without saying Alhamdulillah or like mentioning Allah. So I want to allow for everything that I do to make sense and be true to me in every aspect. I don't have to dim one area of my life so another area of my life can shine. And I think that everything it just makes so much sense and with this integration it's allowing for me to not have to compartmentalize that word is hard to say compartmentalize my creative process it's allowing for me to be more free-flowing in that way and so that's why when you come on my page you would see that i talk about modesty and different aspects of modesty i'm giving myself the platform to talk about the interests that i want to see that i want to talk about and you know i don't have to answer to anyone that's the beauty of it and so i encourage you all to find the connectors that are within your interests for example there's this youtuber um her name is nala right and she made a video regarding um being a mom and being an entrepreneur and feeling like there's a separation in the two and i firmly believe that she can integrate it into one and i mentioned it to her like there's definitely a way that she can marry those two aspects of her life into one like sure being a mom isn't her entire identity neither is being an entrepreneur but those are aspects that take majority of her time and so if you find yourself being pulled in different places, find a connecting factor where it allows for you to not have to be in different places. You can have your hand here, have your hand there, and you're doing the same thing. Also with that, not just regarding her experience, but in general, marrying your different interests into one, it allows for you to have a 360 view of your interests. It allows for you to speak from a very particular perspective that everyone doesn't have. Speaking of mothers, I'm not a mother, but it requires a lot of time management. And that is something that YouTube is also teaching me, time management. This is something that I've always struggled, sure. <laughs> I would definitely put it on my resume, but I never was really at that place where I was like, yeah, I, I really got it. I got this time management thing down pat. But yes, YouTube is teaching me how to manage my time. It definitely requires me to do that. And for this first month, I'm not gonna lie, there were times where I would be filming the night before, editing through the night to post the day of. I don't like that process for myself and so I'm learning that I really need to manage my time better. Moving forward, I'm beginning to film on Tuesdays and then film on Fridays. It's really teaching me how to manage my time. I'm about to start working a new job, so let's see how we manage this time. <laughs> it's definitely gonna be imperative. Like, being a YouTuber, I'm realizing like, it requires a lot of time, especially if you're a person that pays attention to detail in the way that you edit and you're very meticulous in that way. You have perfectionism issues. <laughs> If you're really serious about doing this, naturally you're gonna be like, okay, I gotta find a method that works for me, works for my schedule, and do it. If you have various different interests and you wanna avoid becoming overwhelmed, I highly recommend using ChatGPT. That is like my virtual assistant. If I have a lot of tasks that I need to do, I just input it and ask it to organize it for me. And it's done for me. It saves so much time. It allows for me to think a little bit more clearly. And I don't have to do so much brain work to just simply organize a bunch of tasks. So 
using that method allows for me to save that time and then move on to the next and do what I actually need to do. If you don't have an assistant in general, use ChatGPT until you can get you a virtual assistant because it's definitely a lifesaver and a time saver. <laughs> it's helping me manage my time better. What are your methods to manage your time? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you all. Any, any way for me to, you know, really hone in on my time management skills? Uh, my creative journey early on, like with styling, has taught me to manage my time. But now I think because I'm really doing this solo and I don't have to answer to anyone, it's allowing for me to, besides myself, and maybe you guys, if y'all are looking out for the video, it's allowing for me to discipline myself in that way where it's like, I know that I have to do this. And so this is how I'm going to do it. Set myself some goals. And so it's really allowing for me to hold myself accountable in that way. Last but not least, YouTube is allowing for me to trust my abilities. I have Islamic faith. And so I've always known that like my Lord has blessed me with capabilities. I never had doubted myself in that way. I will say I did have a bit of doubt in myself before I even like posted a video simply because of my tone of voice. Like my voice has always been very monotone growing up. And also I felt like I didn't have a personality, but I'm realizing that I do have a personality. It just is a matter of it coming out of me and allowing for that to shine. Because a lot of the times when I would watch YouTube videos, I would see people with like these loud, boisterous personalities and I'm like, that's not me. And so I was a little hesitant about how I would present myself on YouTube and how I would step into this realm, but I'm realizing like that's them, I am me. YouTube is allowing for me to really see it, like see myself evolve. I'm able to see my growth and it's honestly beautiful to see. It's only been a month, so I'm just like really excited to see what I could do in three months, in five months, in 10 months, like in a year. I'm just so excited and I've told my friends like if you don't see me posting call me and ask me why am I not posting because there's definitely a problem when I'm in something I'm in it if y'all see me not posting please DM me ask me what's up <laughs> yeah it's showing me that I'm my own person and there's no need for me to compare myself to other people in that way because everyone has different personalities and i don't think that you have to have this like huge personality to be successful on youtube to build a community if you have something important to say if you have something that you really want to share with the world document it and post it someone in this world is going to want to see it someone in this world is searching the internet to see what exactly what you are posting and so I implore you to let go of the self-doubt just like I am and do your thing. Do the main thing. If you are dealing with self-doubt in your creative journey, I encourage you to write some goals that you have and write some adjectives that you want to embody. Ask yourself how can you embody those adjectives and ask yourself if that even comes natural to you if that is something that you want to grow into if you are a reserved kind of person i mean like i imagine if you're on this video <laughs> if you are wanting to get out of your comfort zone start with the voice memos and alongside watching videos whether it be on youtube or movies or shows and just analyze how people communicate and see how you want to step into that. It's all to help us get out of our comfort zone. So I encourage you all to embrace your capabilities and trust the process. Trust the process. How you are in your first video isn't exactly how you will be in your 15th video. Like somewhere down the line, there's going to be moments of growth within you where you become more comfortable in talking and when you become comfortable in expressing your personality and remember this journey is ongoing in your journey with self-growth and your creative journey on youtube and so i encourage you all to give yourself grace to be patient 
and to be open to the growth mistakes learning all right that wraps up our video thank you all for staying tuned to the very end i hope you all enjoyed and until next time stay mindful and stylish Assalamu alaikum.